As one of the oldest industrial groups in India, the Birlas have been involved in corporate social responsibility long before it became fashionable, long before people talked about it. At that point, they built schools and institutes of technology and temples, and their only real competition in this area was the mighty Tata Group. In today's episode, we travel with Mrs. Rajshri Birla to one of the CSR projects in Gujarat to see for ourselves what the Birlas have been doing. You were 10 years old when you got engaged? Yes. Why so young? Uh, I think that was the custom <coughs> in those days and uh, the parents used to do uh, arranged marriages. But you I heard did. about the Birla schools and the Birla temples? Uh, yes, everything. that I had heard. Huh? And what had, which was the first one that you saw yourself? The, first uh, the, Birla, the school was modern high school and even I used to go there for my uh, lessons when I used to be in Calcutta during the holidays. Is that the first school that the Birlas built or was there something else before uh, No, I think uh, in Pilani they had started... Uh, Bits. No, uh, Bits came a little later on, uh -huh. but they had started the school long back. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure, but maybe about uh, somewhere in 1950s. They come from Pilani? No? Yes, they come from Pilani. Uh -huh. And the, uh, in the 50s there was real poverty I mean, there still is, but in the 50s it was really, really bad. Yes. What, do you know anything about why they started it, why they went for education and not something else? Uh, I think they must have thought that education is the most vital thing to start with. And once you're educated, then you can be uh, aware of all what's happening and how things can be taken further. And who was the moving force behind it? Was it your grandfather-in-law or your grandmother-in-law? Who did it? Was uh, it my grandfather-in-law, Mr. G.D. Birla. Huh. So he started from Pilani and uh, he came to Bombay and then they shifted to Calcutta. Yeah. So first they uh, themselves found uh, how to go about things. Hmm. But was the, were the women involved or was it the men who took these decisions? Uh, I think in the earlier days the men must have been involved. But later on in Calcutta, when the schools, more schools were built, uh, my mother-in-law, my aunt-in-law, the ladies also got involved. Got involved. And there are now many schools, aren't there? How many are we talking about? Uh, actually, I'm not sure, but like we run about 43 schools mm -hmm. and uh, teach about 40,000 uh, children. 40,000 children. The Birla family has been famous as one of India's richest industrial families for nearly a hundred years. But the first really famous Birla was Ghansham Das Birla, whose vision of the contribution he could make beyond business led him to active participation in the freedom movement. It was in Birla House in Delhi that Gandhiji lived and it was tragically in Birla House that he was killed. After independence, G.D. Birla continued to do what he could by way of national service and it was under him that the first educational institutions were built by the Birla family. <laughs> 